And then I joined Comedy Sports LA. Nice. Because I had some friends that were doing that. And yeah. So, I, so but, then you got a, a little income? Yeah. And I think the first couple of years, I just thought, I'll just work. Like, we can't both be doing this. It's crazy. Oh, sure. So I was at Starbucks. Oh, you did the odd jobs. Yeah. Starbucks, what else? Well, I just, for years, I got a job doing improv at Disneyland. Oh, hell yeah. What'd you do? There's a show called the Department of Untapped Hilarity. What is this? I didn't know about this. It was uh, it was only for maybe th- three or four years. Oh no! But it was an improv. It was like a short form improv show. Really? That's yeah. so great. It was real. It was probably the best job a guy could have. Why? What'd you, what did you? We did entail? six three person improv shows a day. A day. That's great. Twenty twenty five minute shows. Just play like three or four short form games. For how many people? It's, it depends on the day. Really? Sometimes ten. Oh, sometimes it wasn't in a theater. It was, it was in the streets. It was outdoors. It was an outdoor amphitheater. Oh, so it was big though. Yeah, I mean, like the venue was sort of weird, like the Indiana Jones thing or whatever. Uh, it was on the it's like the Hollywood backlot stage. Nice, it's called. So it's like it's a stage. They now have like dance groups. Like, gotcha. We're we're here from your Belinda. We're dancing on the stage. That's really fun. Did it pay well? Yeah, those are union gigs. Yeah, so dude. like, it's it's like you're not getting rich, but you're also like, boy, I make more here. At, than I do in a week at Starbucks. Absolutely. Do you know Brendan Jennings? I do know Brendan Jennings. He was a, he was a character at Disney, and I think he might have done the street performing, too. Yeah. And he was like, it paid so well, and you just it was so fun. We Yeah, we affectionately call it the golden handcuffs. Because <laughs> you, do you don't like, want to leave. Well, you feel like you can't, and you feel like you... You're doing what you want to do on a smaller scale, but you are doing what you want to do, and you're getting paid well it, to it's do It's like it. a weird genie wish, right? Like, right. You're like, I got it, just want to perform. It's right. like, great, here's... All <laughs> yeah. gonna lock you in the closet and have you just perform till you're blue in the face. That's true. And then you start to go like, "This is great. Um, can I do another thing?" Right. It's like, well, not if you want to work here. You're right. Like, we need you all the time, every time. So, yeah. That's so funny. That's great. How did you get that? Just they Through came the to comedy sports community. and tried to snipe people. One or? of the one of the guys who performed it. At, uh, his name's Frank Maciel. He was a longtime comedy sports guy from L.A., and then he was in Minneapolis for a long time. Okay. But he's from L.A. So he moved back to L.A. and pitched this short, sort of who's line thing to them, and they bought it. That is really cool. So for years we did that. And then That's I've done other shows. Cool. I've done other different weird theme park gigs for them. That's so the cool. Years. Yeah. That's so fun. That, uh, I'm a theme park whore. <laughs> I'm sort of reformed now. I don't, what does that mean? Why? How I work you? at Universal, too. Oh, right. Yeah. That's so fun, though. Yeah. That's but it's really all cool. these like bizarre gypsy carnival, carny jobs. I was going to say carnival <laughs> But not jobs. really, though. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, it's such a weird world. It's yeah. very strange. It is. I love it. But because it, it's a world inside a world, really. Yeah. Yeah. And it's easy, it's easy to just go like, I'm making good money performing. The end. Yeah. It's very easy to do that. 